1983, a bold plan was unveiled in Finland. It promised to solve nuclear energy's biggest problem, its nuclear waste. Now, four decades later, this plan is being put to the test. And what happens in the coming months could shape the future of nuclear energy. How does one build a facility designed to last 100,000 years? And can we truly say we've found a solution to the nuclear waste problem? Let's find out. The Onkolo project, which means cave or hiding place in Finnish, is a deep geological repository. This method involves burying hazardous radioactive waste deep underground in stable rock formations. The facility is being built about 1,411 feet 430 meters below the surface, keeping the waste far from people, animals and the environment for hundreds of thousands of years. What makes Onkolo stand out is that it's the world's first facility built specifically for the permanent storage of spent nuclear fuel. Finland's government decided to proceed with the project in 2000 and construction began in 2004. The design is based on the KBS-3 method, developed jointly by Sweden and Finland. This multi-barrier system is built to ensure the waste remains secure regardless of what happens on the surface. When we say long term, we mean it. Onkolo is designed to isolate the waste for up to 100,000 years. How does one build something to last that long? Let's take a look. Onkolo is located on Okilowoto Island in the municipality of Urayoki, Finland. The island sits on part of the Fennoscanadian Shield, a granite bedrock formation that's between 1.8 and 3.5 billion years old. This area experiences very little seismic activity, making it ideal for a long-term storage facility. It's also conveniently located about 5 kilometers from the Okilowoto nuclear power plant, allowing for easy transport while remaining isolated from major population centers. The construction itself started all the way back in 2004 and has been going on in phases ever since. In phase one, between 2004 and 2009, they focused on digging a huge tunnel that went 420 meters deep into the ground. Then came phase two from 2009 to 2011, where they went even deeper down to about 520 meters. By the end of that phase, they had dug out around 10 kilometers of tunnels. Phase three, which took place from 2015 to 2017, was when they really started building the repository itself. We're now in phase four, which began in 2021 and is still ongoing. At this stage, they're working on the final details, getting everything in place to start storing nuclear waste underground, where it'll remain safely for the next 100,000 years. Is it safe? Well, let's take a look at the security measures and you can be the judge. Finland put a lot of thought into this, beginning with years of tests to make sure groundwater wouldn't be an issue. Then they included layers of protection, multiple of them. First, there are the copper canisters. These five centimeter thick containers are designed to resist corrosion for thousands of years. They have an inner layer of cast iron for strength and an outer copper shell to prevent water infiltration. But that's not the only safety measure. Surrounding each canister is a layer of bentonite clay. This natural material swells when it comes into contact with water, forming a tight seal around the canisters. It was chosen for its ability to self-heal if cracks form. Then there's the granite bedrock. This rock barely shifts and hardly any water flows through it, which is why it was picked. Plus, being so far underground offers extra protection from anything happening above. And they didn't just rely on the barriers alone. Onkolo is equipped with 500 sensors, monitoring various parameters like temperature, humidity, and structural stability. This monitoring system will remain active for several decades after the facility is sealed. After placement, the tunnels are filled with clay blocks and pellets. This not only protects the waste, but also prevents accidental discovery in the future. So, how secure do you think the nuclear waste is? Building Onkolo wasn't a walk in the park. The project faced both technical hurdles and social concerns. On the technical side, Onkolo is being dug into ancient bedrock called gneiss. 
This rock has been around for billions of years, but even it has cracks. Water finding its way through those cracks into a nuclear waste facility? That's the last thing anyone wants. Perceiver, the company behind Onkelo, spent years studying the rock. They had to figure out where the fractures were and how to avoid them while digging. It's like trying to drill a hole in a block of cheese without hitting any air pockets. Yeah, digging deep ain't an easy job. Ask that to our Australian friends and their hurdle with digging for Snowy 2.0. Check out our video about it. But water wasn't the only worry. Earthquakes, though rare in Finland, were also a concern. To play it safe, they placed Onkelo between two fault zones. This way, if the ground shifts, it's more likely to happen along these faults rather than where the waste is stored. Water, though, remains the biggest headache. If it reaches the canisters, radioactive material could leak out. That's why Onkelo uses a multi-barrier system. It's like having multiple locks on your front door. If one fails, the others are still there to keep things safe. Then there's the sheer size of the project. Digging down more than 400 meters and creating 50 kilometers of tunnels isn't your average construction job. The engineers had to be as precise as surgeons to keep everything stable. But solving these technical puzzles was just half of the battle. Getting the local community on board that was a whole different challenge. The people living in Uriyoki, the town near Onkolo, had plenty of questions. Many work in the nuclear industry, so they understand the risks, but they needed to know that safety was the top priority. Perceiver didn't keep secrets. They held regular town meetings, answered questions, and tried to ease people's concerns. It was like a very long, very detailed Q&A session. Even with all this effort, not everyone was convinced. Groups like Greenpeace raised concerns about the long-term risks of burying nuclear waste. They suggested Finland should focus more on renewable energy instead. Some locals worried about how Onkelo might affect property values, farming or the local economy. Perceiver didn't just brush off these concerns. They talked directly with critics, shared safety assessments, and showed that even in a worst-case scenario, the risk to people and the environment was incredibly low. It was like trying to convince your neighbors that your new dog is friendly. It takes time and patience. But is Finland really breaking new ground here? And what about other countries? How are they dealing with their nuclear waste? Let's take a world tour and see how Finland's plan compares. France is like that friend who never throws anything away. They're all about recycling. They reprocess about 96% of their spent nuclear fuel, recovering valuable materials like uranium and plutonium for reuse. Pretty impressive, right? Their La Hague facility is the star of the show, turning spent fuel into mixed oxide fuel. It's like taking your old phone and turning it into a new one. They're so committed to this approach that they're planning new recycling plants by 2045. But what about the really nasty stuff that can't be recycled? France has a plan for that too. It's called Sigio and it's set to open in 2035. The idea is to bury high-level waste 500 meters underground. Sound familiar? Sweden's approach is like Finland's twin sister, similar but with its own unique style. They're both using the KBS-3 method, but Sweden is slightly different. However, in Sweden, the facilities are planned to be built slightly deeper, at around 500 meters underground. Their underground vault is expected to open sometime in the 2030s. Canada is still in the planning stages, but they're not in a rush. Their nuclear waste management organization is like a picky house hunter carefully scouting out the perfect spot in Ontario for their deep geological repository. The US story is more like a Hollywood drama. Remember the Yucca Mountain project in Nevada? It was supposed to be America's forever home for nuclear waste, but after years of political squabbles and regulatory hurdles, the plan's been on ice since 2010. For now, most of the US's spent fuel is like a long-term house guest sitting in temporary storage at reactor sites. It's a bit like keeping all your old stuff in the garage because you can't decide what to do with it. 
So, compared to all the others, Finland is definitely at the top of the game. And right now, Finland's Onkolo repository is almost ready. In fact, they're currently running a trial where they're testing how they'll safely store nuclear waste deep underground. They're using fake canisters to practice putting them into tunnels, sealing them with special clay and concrete, and making sure they can be removed safely if needed. Sensors are keeping track of everything to make sure the system works perfectly before they start storing real nuclear waste. Once the trial wraps up, they'll be ready to start full operations by 2025, which is a huge step forward not just for Finland, but for how the world handles nuclear waste. As early as next year, or maybe 2026, they'll begin sealing up spent nuclear fuel in specially designed copper canisters. So far, they've dug out 10 kilometers of tunnels, and over the next century, they'll carve out another 50 kilometers. By the time it's done, Onkolo will hold over 6,500 tons of uranium waste, locked away in canisters, spread across a huge underground space. Finland will be keeping an eye on the site for, well, as long as it takes. Advanced sensors, regular reviews and constant updates will keep everyone in the loop. But why does this matter outside of Finland? Because other countries are watching closely. This could even push other countries, like the US and Canada, to finally make some progress on their own nuclear waste plans. What do you think? Has Finland solved the nuclear waste problem? Or should we look somewhere else to resolve this problem? Share your comments below and make sure to hit the like and subscribe buttons because there's a lot more mega builds to come.